so I'm sitting here with the sapphires. <laughs> um, that's me getting all gushy. I'm so <laughs> excited. It's so exciting to have more Australians in the room with me. I'm with Jess, Deborah, Miranda and Shari. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. and welcome to Dublin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know, I heard that you guys had a fabulous night at the premiere. I want to hear yeah. all about, because Chris O'Dowd tweeted that there was a fabulous Sapphire <laughs> Moon Boy karaoke off. Oh, <laughs> there was. That happened. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Moon Boys brought out, uh, that brought out uh, Forget You by CeeLo. Oh, we retaliated with a bit of Baby Got Back. No. Uh, Baby Got Back. <laughs> <laughs> It was on. It was on Duck Monkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> did you, you know, when you signed on for this movie, did you ever think you'd be hearing, welcome to Dublin, welcome to Tor Toronto, hi, you're at the Cannes Film Festival, and let's clap for 10 minutes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I actually started getting really emotional in Cannes because yeah. people kept clapping. They didn't want to stop. Mm. And for them, to, for them to take the film with so much heart was was really such an honour and I was um, and the, when the camera came on me because they panned to everyone and they clapped everyone individually when when it came to me I, I my face was all scrunched up from trying not to cry and I moved my head away and I, when I look back on it I go oh Tapsel what is wrong with you you were trying to prevent the ugly cry yeah I'm an ugly crier I, I really am. <laughs> think people have like I know in Australia this was released a few months ago and all my mates like is the sapphires there yet is the sapphires there yet everyone loved it in Australia and I get it yeah. but why do you think it's resonated with audiences around the world I mean it's an Australian film yeah I mean look there's uh, there's a lot in the story that is universal when, when it comes to family when it comes to history but I think also the point of difference is probably something that people are interested in when it resonating with it. but it is it, it's dealing with 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 um, issues that people can connect to, no matter what country they're living in. Yeah. Do you know, that's what I loved as well, because it does touch on issues, it doesn't shy away from the issues, but it does it with such heart and such humour. But it is a bit of a heavy film on those days where, you know, how were you coping with those issues? And how did you keep it light? We, the way that, like, I think what's beautiful about the film is the way we kept it light as well like it's the same thing we just through you know connection and through laughter like that's how indigenous australians have survived this long family mm, and laughter yeah. and that's what this film it's it's the first time we've seen that side of it that yeah. we're not we don't play victims mm. it's it's you know kind of non-indigenous australian that that um projects that onto us mm. We survived through laugh, like we just, you know, we. So that's how we got through those days. We were there for each other and having, you know, the mm. most, Im the most fun imaginable. We had it, <laughs> even on the, uh, even on the hard days. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Oh, I was just going to add to that and said say that um, we weren't scared to cry either. We mm. still, well, we were still crying in the cinema when we, when we watched the flashback with um with uh, the authorities coming. We still cry at that, but you know what? It's such a healing thing because we go, okay, we've cried now. Yeah. And um, the fact that we don't ignore it is, is a really lovely yeah. thing too. How do you find it being women in this industry and Indigenous mm. women in this industry? Tough? How long have you got? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> um, we can't, oh sorry. Yeah. I can't sugarcoat it, it's bloody yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard, I mean, in terms of, um, Black, black faces on, well, television in particular yeah, and commercial yeah. television is just appalling. It's actually appalling mm. that, that they don't, no one has any faith or any brains or any commitment to wanting to, to, um, to not only show Indigenous content but also cast us in any role, yeah. any yeah. role. We don't always have to play the Indigenous storyline, you know, mm. which you know from Secret Life of Us, that, yeah. you know, that character, it's amazing, it was the first time that, an Indigenous, an Aboriginal person was on screen, yeah. the same as everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not happening nearly enough. And the fact that we're women on top of that, like yeah. you say, you know, the, the beautiful thing about this script, I read it and went, women, like, women would be, fall, like, all of my friends would be falling over themselves to get an opportunity like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, black or white, they're gonna, like, these roles for women are amazing. Mm. I believe I already have to wrap this up, but I can't go without asking, working with Chris O'Dowd, I saw you guys in the foyer, you guys have a real connection with him, what was he like on set? Uh, 
just exactly naturally as he is. Um, he is naturally funny, and that's what it was. It was so magical and set that even, you know, when we'd say cut, we'd still be laughing and having a bit yeah. of a crack up. And even after, you know, after the sessions, after the shoot, we'd go yeah. off and, you know, hang out and, and still be enjoying and having a conversation, yeah. yeah. But he's just, he's, I was so pleasantly surprised mm. and um, heartened to see his intelligence as an actor. Like he's, Everything. everyone knows him for his comic yeah. ability, mm. but he's just so clever as yeah. an actor and so open and you know him and Deb on like are on this playing field of just <laughs> yeah. magic it's amazing yeah. yeah I just got goosebumps when you mentioned <laughs> them um are you girls ready for what's about to happen to you guys I know Deb you've been doing this for a long time but are you ready where your career is going to go after the world has seen the sapphires yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. I am ready. You know, I think I think we have been, especially on this. You know, being able to you know play this film and, and so to different audiences. I mean, we've sat in the f in the cinema and watched it with them, and just they've really just resonated and connected with it. And just that alone is just like has given us that mm. platform to just mm. want to do more and 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 be the women we are. Yeah. That is a lovely way to end. I can't wait to see you guys do more. Thank you so much for joining us. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be